Hello? Where am I? Some stuff from the Q&A. Still not quite right. Hi everyone, how's it going? Hi Michael, hi Craig. Hi everyone watching. On YouTube, on Twitch. If you're wondering who I'm talking to on either platform. I see the chat from everything, I see it all. So yes, it's time for the return of some Hadrian's Wall, which you can't actually see again because the solar campaign rules are in the way. There it is. There's a good chance you might have seen this before on the channel twice. Two full playthroughs for this. It is, you know, it's like an hour long. And um, there's plenty of different ways that you can go. That was before a whole solo campaign was put into the game. So is it, is it out of stock? I hope it gets a reprint soon as well. I nabbed a copy just about when it came out in England, I think. So, if you haven't seen any Hadrian's Wall whatsoever, I'll try and just go into... I'll, I'll explain what I'm doing and why. Uh, but, yeah, the, there is already you know a live playthrough and a recorded one already on the channel where, yeah, I, I go several different ways, try and do as much of the different strategies as I can. But there's loads in this game, so you can't cover it all. Hi Morgan, your stratagem is gladiators and bathhouses. Well, we'll see how we get out here. Uh, hi Alan. Do, 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 do Paul and I coordinate live streams together? We're both streaming simultaneously again. No. <laughs> it's, it's just luck of the draw, I suppose. I suppose it's whenever anyone's free. I, I, I'll stick a tradition on Thursday nights, though. Apart from last week. But we were seeing the Sparks Brothers, which was amazing. As amazing as board games are, they aren't films about Sparks. Uh, hi, Handpants. On to which? Bathhouses and churches. Well, let's have a look at... Maybe maybe you know a bit of uh, Hadrian's Wall, but you haven't seen this campaign yet. So this is available. It's on Board Game Geek. It's on the Renegade website. It's on the Garfield Games website. Just get this PDF. And you're basically... You're, you're playing the game still. As it, as same same basic rules, but the the forts might change the rules bit by bit throughout the campaign. So there are basically sixteen forts we need to play through here, uh, representing the ones that were built on Hadrian's Wall along its history. Say so that as if I know, and I'm not just reading it off there. Uh, but uh, yes, we were playing on normal difficulty, and to win the campaign, you have to win sixteen forts. I very much doubt we're going to get through sixteen games of this tonight, but. Maybe if, if we win the first one, maybe I'll be able to get two in. Let's see how it goes. Uh, so basically, the the forts, there's a little bit of flavor text represents the, like, the fort that we are playing. There are some special rules for the game that you're about to play. The goal that you need to achieve it to count as winning this fort and be able to move on to the next one. And also a challenge. So the goal just lets you move on. But if you achieve the challenge as well, that will give you a setup reward for the next game. So a bit of a benefit to try and uh, do a bit better in that game. So we are doing Sejadunum. Close. <laughs> so we need to only reveal one neutral prospect card rather than two every year. I've got my neutral cards there. Uh, and the goals of the game, you must complete all the wall sections and score 70 points, which is... That's quite a nice score in the solo. I believe that's like the top score in the normal solo. Yeah, Legatus Legionis. It's the, it's the top score for normal solo. Uh, so we're a bit more restricted from the options we might get for, for using other players' cards, which we would do for actions like scouting, for actions like the market. So we might be a bit more limited at those. But also, we need to do all of the wall, don't we? all along the wall there. So we're going to want some good production of bricks, I imagine. But let's see how we get on. So other than that, just need to remember, only reveal one neutral prospect card per round. And let's get going with this. So it's basically, a, it's a great big flip and fill game. Tons and tons of boxes to check. Most of the time, your boxes will lead to you getting things or crossing out more boxes, which will let you cross out more boxes, and it'll be uh, amazing. Yeah, making 15 forts might be a bit of a long stream. It might be a bit much for tonight, but uh, yeah, it, this this like 
I think it won or came second or something in my Patreon vote last month. Uh, but so yeah, there's 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 a calling for it. There's uh, some demand for some more Hadrian's Wall, which I'm pleased about because I get to just keep playing it. Hey, Master Yoda, are uh, you picked this game up last night? Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I actually haven't played it for a few weeks at this point. I'm looking forward to getting back to it. So, first thing we need to do is the fake cards. We need to reveal one, and it's going to tell us what is available for this round. So, I've got two soldiers. But I've forgotten all of the names. We've got two soldiers, a merchant, two servants, two citizens, and a brick, a stone. And then we need to look at our cards and choose what we get from those. So, hey, truck driving gamer, how's it going? Uh, so I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see my cards here. Uh, so I am going to choose one of these to go on top of my board as my path card. And that is going to determine some extra points I will get at the end of the game. The rest of it... In a multiplayer game, this would be something you could share with other players. Doesn't matter in solo, because you can't have your own market thing. But it's something I can use for scouting for myself. This shape I would be able to draw. And I would get some extra things. So I could get an extra uh, servant and stone or merchant and stone. And what do I want to do then? So the, the only thing I know that I want to do is that I want to build all the bits in the wall, which is going to need stone. So if I want to produce a lot of things then maybe I want to get points for resource production. Large buildings, they're dotted around everywhere. There's a good chance I'm going to do those. But yeah, I think I think resource production feels like it's something I'm going to do. I'm going to go for, I'm going to be a forager. So that gets tucked under my round one over there. I'm going to get some extra points at the end of the game if I do well on resource production. And then my progress card goes over here. We completely ignore the points for large buildings. Now that's gone. Uh, but I get myself an extra merchant and stone. Yeah, this game's got everything. Uh, then, so yeah, done that, done the play cards. Then we need to get the income from our sheets. Oh, yeah, thank, <laughs> thank you, Master Yoda, for reminding me. Uh, so we get, pre-filled in at the start of the game, you get one resource production. You get the one resource, the one stone, the one brick extra later on we might get more of these but also we might earn citizens and uh, merchants later on uh, so then yep 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 one of those builders i keep saying merchants i thought i'd better look it up and then you can also earn attributes as income as well uh, they are the score for the game going along these tracks is a significant part of how you get the score hey barrel on twitch thanks for tuning in i could, cannot find yeah someone was saying earlier it's out of print i'm, I'm sorry to tease in such a way but uh, hopefully it'll uh, it'll keep you going until it becomes available again. So we are ready now. I've picked all of my player cards and we need to reveal a neutral player card, don't we? Of something that we might be able to use if we take certain actions. And then, yeah, let's get filling things in. So I need to think about try and earn as many points as possible and make sure the wall is filled in. So in terms of production, Things that I can do to in production. Well, send servants to mining and foresting. I've got two servants. If I sent them both there, I would get not only an extra resource now, but an extra production for later on. I can get production as well from over here. So everything on the right hand page concerns these citizens. Almost everything on the side that you can actually build requires you to have a certain level in the relevant citizen track. So the small precinct here, you have to build the precincts in order. Small precinct will get me some piety, which is one of the tracks, one of the main scoring tracks for the game. But also it would get me a stone and a production. So I can think about that as well. That still costs a servant and a merchant, but a servant and a citizen. But I would have to have gotten three steps along the trader's track, which would I would need three citizens to do that. So yeah, a lot of ways that I can get stuff done here. Hey, Monica. I started talking in garden pause. Oh, <laughs> interrupting your garden pause. Oh, and uh, 
how bad says you can get it on Garfield Games' website still. That's where I got it from. If you join the Discord, you get a 20% discount. I didn't know that. Oh, hi, Jen. I don't think I've said uh, hi to you yet. Um, yeah, so get get on that Discord. As well, there's a if, you, if you're into the West Kingdom series, the expansion for Architects is on Kickstarter right now as well, isn't it? I've got my reminder to get ready for it. So let's see. I, I would like to get some foresting done. I would like to start getting things. You know, if I go to the precinct, I can start getting the market done. Could be a way of getting points, but I am a bit more limited to doing that. Although, uh, yeah, what, what advice have we had? Church, bathhouse, and uh, gladiators. Now, the gladiators are a little bit um, risky, but you, you can mitigate that risk in your ways. It was, I think we had, yeah, bath bathhouses were suggested twice. So we're going to fight the Picts that will attack at the end of every round. If you don't fend off the Picts enough, then you start getting Disdain. You can get rid of Disdain by bri bribing people at the bathhouses. So that's uh, that's quite a good thing to be doing. So I think, let's get started. Let's do something here. So if I want... I'd, I'd better start... I'd better start on the wall a little bit. And it gets me a citizen as well, my first step here. Anytime you cross something off, you're going to gain that thing. So to move along the wall here, it costs me a brick. But everything is related to this fort at the bottom here. Now the fort, you either need a builder or a soldier to move along. And you can see these chains here that relate to the wall and the sippy. To be able to cross off that space in the wall, I need to have done this space on the fort first. So... Yeah, I've got I've got a builder. Let's let's go for it. Soldiers are one of the only things that can do the wall guards if I want to do that. So I feel like Yeah, I'd like to get the gladiators out though as well. Are the gladiators possible? So builder, two servants. Yeah, the gladiators are quite pricey if I think I'm gonna be doing that. Let's see how it goes though. So I'm gonna do one builder spent to go to the fort, cross that off. This basically means I have unlocked a potential building that I can do, a, a building level. And at one, a one is the medium granary here. So I can't put any marks in the boxes in this middle section. You see there's three columns here. There's some little lines there. Uh, so I can't fill anything in in the middle column until I have built that medium granary. I'm allowed to build the medium granary now because I've got building level one and it's got a one next to it there. So now I've built in the fort, I can use one of my resources, one of my bricks, to go along the wall. So that's my first of many steps along this wall. And that will earn me a citizen, because it's what I just crossed off. I just like seeing the gladiators in the bathhouses. So the churches. Oh, do you mean the do you mean the temples? Yeah, the temples are quite nice. And I don't think I've really used temples, actually, in my other games. The temples are good for just... You can send anyone to them, and they can earn you loads of piety. It's one of the main resources of the game. The gardens get you a lot of different things, too. So everything's pretty wide open at the moment. Scouting is also a really good way of getting stuff. All of it's so good, but it just uh, it'll combine together and be fantastic, I think. So, what would I like to do with my citizens? Now, with three citizens, I could get to level three on the traders. I would get myself an extra servant, an extra builder. But I would not then have enough to build that small precinct and boost my production in the way that I want to. Unless I can earn more citizens. I don't think I'll be able to right now. But it is, you know, if I, if I can do it, if I can get to building level 2 here, what I always like doing in things, uh, as soon as possible get to building level 2, build that small hotel, I'm producing a citizen every round then. So I've got the stuff to do that. I would have to spend a lot of uh, a lot of stuff out on the wall, on the fort, I think. Because I would need the, the servant and the builder to actually build the thing, and a resource... And I would have to use those two soldiers to just move me along the the fort to unlock that building level. I might not be able to do that quite as soon as I was thinking of doing. 
But then if I sent a citizen to the traders, I would get an extra servant, send them both there to get my uh, brick production up. And I would get a citizen right now, actually, for doing that. And I wanted a citizen, didn't I? I'm probably just spending the other things that I was thinking of having, though. Let's. I would like to get some production locked in. Although, you've got to be thinking about how you're getting these points. If you want to go to the theatre, unlock the theatre as soon as possible to start getting um, rewards from that. You know, I can go to the, say, the, the traders and stuff. It's the six years in the game, the six levels of the theatre I can do. Yeah, that's potentially a bit more affordable than maybe get the small hotel next time. But I would then have bricks that I could spend on the wall this time. Just do the theatre. It's because you can only do one performance in the theatre per year. There's only six years in the game. So if you miss a year, then you're not doing all of the theatre bits. But they can get you a lot of advancements in a lot of the tracks. You can only do so many things, though. I'm going to go for it. Theatre. So I need a citizen to move up the citizen track for performers. That's going to get me a builder right now. And then I can use that builder, together with a servant and a resource, to build the theatre, which gives me it's that little courthouse building there. It gives me a renown. So you can cross off the first space in your renown track. As you progress along these, you will earn more people, more meeples, more progress on the other tracks. It will all interlink. If you get to space 15, you can build the landmark for the related column. Oh, it'll go, it'll go so well. Uh, you got your drawings from your kitchen today, Monica. Is it looking good? Oh, I imagine so. So what was I doing? The theatre. So I can get some stone now, yeah? I've, I've got one more resource left, so I can spend that in the theatre. I write in the year that I'm doing this in to remind myself I can only do it once per year. So that's spent. But for that I get... See, this mark is the traders. I get one progress on the trader track and earn myself a servant. So, what have I got now? I've still got a couple of soldiers, a couple of servants, which might be put to best use at the mining and foresting, boost my resource income. I've got a feeling that's where they're going. Yeah, I'm going to do those two spaces. So I get a resource now and also an extra production for the future rounds. But that's both of those spent. Then what would I like to do? Do I want to get some protection from the Picts? They're going to be attacking. I can once a year send a builder to the training grounds. Usually you can only have soldiers go up here. Still got a couple of citizens to move along these tracks a little bit. I could get another resource from the patricians. But I need, say, hmm, how could I, I could still do this hotel, I think. If I put, if I just risk getting attacked early, what if I send both of these soldiers to the fort? One, two. Then... Okay, where's the rest of the plan? Then I've got my I've got my resource, I've got my builder, I just need a servant, which I could get from sending someone to send the citizen to the priest's track, which gets me a servant. So now if we come back up here, I've got the resources I need to build myself a small hotel. So I cross that off as income for all future years, and I also get a citizen now. Which is all I've got at the moment. I've got two citizens. So all they're really useful. I could go to the forum if I'm desperate. And exchange them for one other person that I need. Apart from a soldier. Soldiers can't be involved in the forum in any way. Or. They're probably best put to use. Going up one of these other tracks. 
if I want to get rid of the disdain, I probably want to move up the Aperitoris track and start unlocking the bathhouses. I probably want to start getting things so I can scout. I need level two to start scouting. Or get a diplomat or something like that. I think what I'm going to do is... I've got a feeling this small precinct's getting built next time. I'm going to put both of them into the trader's track. So that's going to give me a builder. Then, the builder... Now, do I go and get a citizen here and unlock more spaces along the wall to be built next time? Or do we go for a space on the wall guard and get a bit of protection? I think... Fort. I'm going to do, I'm going to do Fort. That's great big space. Gets me another citizen. And as for citizens now, I could get myself a resource, get another space on the wall. I can get myself another builder. I'm kind of leaving myself open to, I would have to spend two citizens to get anything next time. But I can't just gain a soldier from going down here. I think, what if we're at the theatre, we want level three next time. I'm not going to get any more people. I'm just going to go to the performance track. No instant reward there, but that's it. That's what I'm doing. I really want to go for that resource production. So what this means now at the end of the round, you can get rid of that fake card. Didn't use anything from the neutral player. I've used all my stuff. The Picts attack. If we look at... I haven't got a nice um, button that takes me to the goals. If we look at the numbers here, it's for easy, medium, and hard difficulty. It shows you how many Picts are going to attack. Uh, so in the first round, no matter what difficulty you're playing, it's one Picked. We draw a fake card, and it's going to have an arrow in it left, uh, right or centre. It doesn't matter to me because I have not protected any of my directions by having uh, cohorts in the corresponding direction. You deflect their attacks. So I have let one attack through. So if we come to the disdain section, I am now going to take a disdain by circling one of these. So that's not good. Disdain is negative points, but you can get rid of it uh, later on in the game. And I'm hoping to do that to make sure I've remembered all of the things. Hi, Anne. Hope you're well. Hi, sorry. You've tried this uh, three times and can't get the 70 points. I don't know that I've gotten 70 points in the standard uh, game, but we're going to do it now, right? Uh, end of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They attack, they attack, they attack. End of game. So, yes, I believe I've remembered everything and it's time to move on to year two. So, what have we got to go into year two with? We've got one solitary soldier, one builder. We've got three uh, servants, two citizens, and a resource. Then cards. So what have we got? Merchants, collected goods, haven't really done. Scout columns, I tend to do. I really like scouting. So I think... Yeah, and I would get myself a citizen and a resource if I went for collected goods. So I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to go for completed scout columns as my scoring. Which means I get an extra citizen and resource now. Yes, happy Thursday. Hi, James. You've been to a family trip to the zoo? You've missed Hadrian's Walling. Family trips? We're trying to save Roman times. Or whatever we're doing. Was it, was it good at the zoo? <laughs> right. Have I got all of my stuff? No. I've picked player cards now. Then we get the neutral player card. And we need to get our income, which now is two resources and a citizen. So there we go. A, a, nice little, a nice little nest egg to go into this next round with. So we want to produce more resources. We want... I want someone to go to the theatre and do that. That's not going to be a problem. 
I need to start thinking about getting some protection, maybe some cohorts. But let's let's start off first. I know I know one thing I want to do. I want to keep up my theatre. So I'm going to send a citizen there to be a performer, which is going to give me a new servant. And then one of my resources. Well, now I'm saying this, I can spend resources to get the small workshop and get um, builder income. We'll see. Uh, but for now, I'm going to spend, it's year two, I'm going to go to the theatre and I'm going to get myself a soldier and also a discipline which is one of the other tracks I haven't got any points in just yet, but now I have. Long day, yeah, I imagine. Long day in the sun and wind, and now you're barely awake. Well, I hope that the action-packed Roman versus picked action is going to wake you up. Right, what was I doing? So, I, yeah, I can, I can spend... It's, it's three bricks to build that workshop. I would get a builder now. It's not moving me along the wall though, is it? But I kind of, if I'm getting towards this middle here, do I want to build the medium granary? That's going to need a, a brick to do. I can get bricks other ways though. Let's think about it. I put all these into traders, didn't I? First of all, I'm going to do servants and citizen. Let's build this small precinct. The reward for that is uh, a piety, a resource, and a production. Get that resource. Production is tracked off there. So I've got three production now. That is a point at the end, thanks to me. And then down here, I need a piety. Not too shabby. So that's one thing I was building up for, the theatre I was building up for. I have got level 3 in the performers now. I could go into gladiators. It's risky. Might be getting nothing from it. I can just kill them off to, to get um, piety. But I've, I've got four resources now. Why don't I go into... Let's use three of them. I'm, I'm banking on this early income. Three resources spent to build the small workshop. I can't do that, though, unless I build one more stage on the fort. Which would be my builder or soldier. And I might want the builder to do, like, say, the granary. So I can keep going. But am I going to go that far this round? I might just have to hold back a bit. Hmm... Let's do, let's do a soldier down here at the fort. And now I've got building level three. And then I can spend the three resources to get the income, which gets me a builder now. I should have done builder on the fort. I'm going to do a take back, actually. I spent the builder and not the soldier. Because soldiers are the only thing, really, that can go on that wall guard. It wouldn't make too much difference. Because they can always use one soldier, one uh, one builder as a soldier per round, up to five times in the game. <laughs> oh, someone helps you teach carnival and can't even speak Norwegian. Oh, wow. Yeah, the gardens are very nice. The gardens, you do need level four in priests, but for a relatively small cost, a piety and a trader, a performer, and another priest. That is quite good. Hey Dutch Yoda, thank you for the raid. Welcome everyone to the world of Hadrian's Wall. We are flipping and filling and crossing things off on sheets in a board gaming kind of way. Right. So yeah, I think, I think gardens are something to go towards. I think gardens is in our future, but maybe not this round. Let's see, I've got a lot of servants, but I haven't got the granary to be able to... I've got three servants, but I would not be able to go into that space because I haven't built the medium granary yet. So... Let's see, another one in the fort would get me a citizen. I've got one resource left. I have still got a couple of citizens to try and move up some tracks, 
Why don't we... I've just gone for the scoring of it. Why don't I go for these two citizens? Let's go on patricians. So that gets me a resource right now. And the reason that I'm doing this... Well, many reasons. But I could go on diplomat. So this is a servant and a soldier and two resources, which I do have. You get a valor now, so another bit up a scoring track. But also, you get two opportunities to ignore an attack from a direction of your choice. Or, well, I could do both, actually. I'm going I'm to do this one with a soldier. I'm going to do some scouting. So cross off my scouting opportunity. When I'm scouting, I can either use my own card and draw just this square, or I could draw this line by using the neutral card. If I want to use the neutral card, I need to draw an extra um, picked card at the end of the round. I don't think I want to do that. I'm happy with my own at the moment. I'm going to draw in that square and I can start anywhere. I'm going to go for up here because that's going to get me a servant and a resource. So loads of servants now. I'm tempted to do the Diplomat, but I think what I'm going to do is, at the risk of inviting more attacks in, I'm going to go for the Medium Granary. So Builder, Servant, Resource. Cross that off. Now I can go in the middle. I've got three Servants here. I've got three Servants here. And I'm going to go one, two, three. That's another production. And that is another resource there. I've got a Roman roll on the way. Yeah, it's a, it's a very different kind of uh, rolling and writing thing. But uh, yeah, excellent in its own unique way. You do have to build the wall, James, to win this, uh, this fort. I'm confident that I can do it. I am really trying to build up production. I've got that for points as well. But I'm hoping that, yeah, I've, I've progressed along the fort a fair way. But only along the wall once for now. But I have built up uh, some resources that I could do that with now. So I've done my theatering. All I've really got left is soldiers and resources anyway. So that, that is what I'm going to do. I, I could send the soldiers to the fort, get a citizen and put the citizen somewhere else. But I think I'll save that. I could put the citizen on the priests, work towards getting the gardens. But I think we're definitely going to spend a couple of these resources making some progress on the wall. Because that's going to get me a citizen. And, oh yeah, let's let's spend the third resource. This is going to get me a renown and a cohort. Our first cohort. So, a renown. And then for the cohort, uh, let's, yeah, up at the top here. I can choose which direction is going to be protected. We're going to be attacked twice at the end of this round. I know that. Let's see, a left, a right, and a middle have come out. So, <laughs> this could be anything. I'm going to go for, when in doubt, choose left. I'm going to protect myself once from the left. If you keep getting cohorts of the same direction, then you'll get uh, rewards from that. And then I've got a soldier waiting in the wings here. That soldier could go down to the fort. But I think they're going to go... On the wall guard, get me another cohort, and I'm going to protect myself from the center. So an attack from the right will still get through, and if I get attacked twice from the same direction, one of those will get through as well. But we've got some protection now. I've got a citizen left, so where would I like them to go? I could get a reward right now if I send them to the apparitores, or I could send them to the priests and get closer to doing the gardens. Yeah, that sounds pretty tempting now. I've just got gardens on the brain now. You've said it, James. Oh, why don't we? Let's let's send them off to the apparitores because I, I do want to get the bats built at some point because that's going to get me a builder. The builder can be spent up at the fort to get me a citizen. And then the citizen can be spent over... Oh, I was going to say on the priest's track, but on the patrician's track, I could get myself another soldier. Oh, no. 
well, not oh no, that's, that's a good thing, but now I've got a, a quandary. Now I'm going to go for, and that would help me do more scouts if I keep going up on this track. Now let's go for priests. No reward right now, but we're two citizens away from being able to get that uh, small gardens. Okay, that's the end of the round. We need two attacks from the Picts, and let's see what direction they're going to attack from. The right, of course, the uh, unprotected section. Are they going to both attack from the right? No. Okay, center. We do block that one. So, when you, when you actually defend against an attack, I get a disdain for letting one through, but the limit is two on here. So, I get a disdain and a valor. So balances out a little bit, kind of. Disdain and a Valor. Like this. Oh, I haven't got the nice, easy button, have I? Uh, the This tells you how many cards you're going to use. This is kind of your limit for how much um, Valor you can gain. For If you blocked everything, you would gain this much Valor. And it's also the limit to how much Disdain you could gain in one big go as well. So even if you ignore everything, there's a limit to how much damage it's going to do to you so year three yeah let's see what we start with we have two soldiers builder two servants two citizens and just the one resource not good for your wall builder two cards to pick from let's see the pontiff wants filled temples the aristocrat wants me to have uh, not a lot of disdain at the end which, if I'm going to go to the bathhouse, I can get rid of that disdain. If I'm doing priests, though, in the gardens, maybe it's going to be possible to fill those temples. Get a lot of piety in the process. See the rewards, two servants. I think... Oh, it's all it's all good, isn't it? I do want servants I could get... With a couple of... A couple more servants I could get to the next... Production. Yeah, I'm, I'm driven by that. I'm going to go for final disdain. I want to not have a lot of disdain at the end of the game. And I pick up two extra servants now. And then in my income, I get four more resources. One citizen. Two, three, four. And a builder. Which isn't too bad. You always get attacked from the centre. Then... That's my income, right? We need a neutral card as something to use if we would like to. And I need to have a pause, I think, and uh, have a little drink. From, uh, yeah, my coaster's attached. Big cup of tea. I'm really glad it's not quite as sweltering in here. Missed having uh, hot drinks here. Right. Where am I? I've just started the round, haven't I? What was the goal? I was thinking about the gardens. I've got a lot of resources built up. With three servants, I could get the next production. And I was thinking about that, wasn't I? Let's see. Why don't we go for gardens and see what we've got left? I'm going to go for two citizens here because we need to get to level four on those gardens. So that's going to get me a Servant and a Piety. Servant and Piety. That's put me at level 4 on the Priests, which means with a Builder, a Servant and a Resource, I can build the Small Gardens, which gives me a Piety. Oh, I'll show you because the Piety is going to get me a Servant. Then... I also get a trader and a performer and a priest. And the priest gets me another servant. Oh, wow. Maybe I didn't need to take those servants. Overloaded with them. So I have built the small gardens now. Where's Marty? He is downstairs with Rach. He's uh, he's not fussed about even hanging out under the under the desk. Uh, here when Rachel's about. It, it is nice and uh, cool downstairs, though. It's not crazy hot in here at the moment, but 
yeah, it's nice and breezy downstairs. And there's the prospect of treats. He's recognised now there's no treats in this room. There is just a camera that wants him on it. And he's not keen to participate. He hasn't been on Mighty Cam for ages, has he? Here we back up. As it starts getting into like autumn, winter, I think he's going to be back curled up in here. We hope. Right, so I've... That's just the gardens. And now I'm kind of more primed now. I've gone up these tracks a little bit. So I am one away on the performers track here. Let's get to level five. That gets me a soldier. But now I'm at the next stage of my theater so I can spend a resource to get a piety and a servant, keeping up my theatrical performances. Uh, servants and another piety, which I'm doing pretty well at actually, pretty pious. Then, so I've got a bit of a citizen shortage there. Loads of servants. I think let's definitely get three spent up here to get me another resource and another production. So that's going to be five bricks at the start of the three remaining years. Great for filling the wall up. And, you know, speaking of being short on citizens, one resource there on the wall can get me a citizen. So there's one. It would be nice to get to level six, but the medium precinct not only would need a couple of citizens for, for me to get to level six, I need to spend a servant and two citizens to actually build that precinct. So that's going to have to wait. So I've got a lot of servants. And now I kind of forget why. Uh, we want to move along the fort a little bit more, don't we? I'd like more builders. I'd like more resources. Well, we can, though. I want to move along the patricians track as well. And do some more scouting. I haven't quite got the best shape I could get. But I've got a decent one. I would need four on the scouting, though. Can I do that? I'm going to spend a citizen on patricians, which gets me a soldier. Then let's spend... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able... Am I going to be able to build a large granary? No, I've got to get to building level five, which is ages away. Just thinking I could spend more servants to get to this bit, but I think I've got too many servants. I could always build the small temple, send one off there. Or there's diplomats that I could get. I think to start with, let's send two soldiers out here. So I get a, a discipline and a citizen. The discipline doesn't get me anything right now. But it's all leading towards something. Uh, down in the patricians. And I get one more, which is going to get me a Renown, which gets me a Citizen. So I'll keep that. And now I can spend a Soldier scouting again. I'm going to use my shape, the T. And I am going to get Resource and Servant again. Yep, the thing I said I had too much of. I've just got another one of it. But yeah, as, as you say, James, I, ca I can use the forum. Once per year, I can I could just use two of those servants to get something I do need, as long as it's not a soldier, which I, I probably will end up doing. So now... If I got to level four, I could do the small road and get myself some income of uh, attributes. That wouldn't be a terrible thing to get, especially points-wise. Large gardens, I need seven on here. I could be thinking about the diplomat. It's just it's it's a bit resource heavy, but yeah, why not do that? Actually, I'm going to go for soldier, servant, and two resources. And I'm going to get the first diplomat. So I need a valor, which doesn't get me anything right now, but I get two chances to block attacks. And I'm going to choose from the right because I am not protected from the right at all. And what's that leave us with? Still got a citizen. 
so you know, I could still build a temple and send a servant there as well and block an attack. Yeah, let's build the small temple. Is that better than doing the road and getting the income from there? The temple does allow you to block an attack as well. Now let's get some income here. Two servants and a builder and a resource. And I'm going to get an attribute of my choice every year. But right now I have the pick of piety or discipline. Well, if we look at the tracks, discipline gets me a builder. So I will choose discipline. So still got two servants and only one place that I can use them here. Oh, if I want to do that, though, I'm going to have to have spent... Oh, I couldn't do that, could I? I didn't have building level four. I would have to have used these. Yeah, because I haven't got a soldier or a builder left. I would have had to have used these at the forum. So that's year three. I would have had to have used these as, say, a builder, so I could have crossed out building level four first. Glad I caught that uh, before I'd gone too much further. So I still could have done it. I've spent two servants to be able to do it. Uh, so I can I can go to the next citizen part here. I've still got a resource to do another bit on the wall. Sure, what else is that citizen going to do? The builder. I can get... Oh yeah, let's let's go along the fort a bit more because we if we need to get all the way along the wall, we need to get all the way along the fort as well. Uh, so that gets me a citizen. And over on the citizens... I can get myself... Let's see, on the traders that I do want to go up, I can go up that one more to get a another resource. And then I can spend the two resources to go a little bit further along the wall and get myself another cohort. I think I'm going to... I'm going to go with your warning, James. I'm going to protect the center a little bit more because I have got the diplomats fending off a couple of attacks from the right. And we're getting four cards this time. And then I've got a solitary citizen that you know, I could get another resource. That's about the only... I could get a piety right now, which it's a point. And I do want to be you know, at seven if I want to do the gardens. And then I'm ready to add some more servants. And if but if I go down to the patricians, then at level five, I'm ready to do another scout next time. I wish I had a soldier to do it now. But I think I'm gonna do it go with that. Let's go patricians one more time. Get myself a resource, but I'm not even gonna take it. I'm gonna spend it straight away here on the wall, which is going to get me a renown. And that's another lovely year, I think. Picked. We need four attacks. And I'm worried. Where are they attacking from? We've got right. So left I protect. Second left I do not protect. And then right I can cross out both of my diplomats to have protected against these. So that's both diplomat uses gone already. So I let one attack through. And the grey number is two. So again, that's going to be one disdain, one valour. I should maybe have just let both of those through because it would have just been two disdain. And the valour is going to get me a soldier though, which this is the only way you're allowed to carry things into the next round. I earned a valour, which got me a soldier, which I'm allowed to take with me. So round four, the fate card gives me another soldier, a builder, three servants, two them fellas and a resource my cards are gonna be vanguard completed wall guard sections or defender completed wall sections well if we don't complete the wall we lose so i think points wise we'd better go for defender uh so i'm gonna get myself a this isn't particularly the shape i want though i'll be honest what's the other shape i could have had yeah, I'd prefer that shape, but maybe we're just not going to do scouting this year. And we could use the neutral one if we're willing to get a bit more uh, 
picked attacks, which we are not prepared for. Uh, the wall guard sections is going to get me another citizen and another builder. And then my income is five bricks. Two, three, four, five. And a citizen and a builder and move along the track of my choice. Is there a track that's about to pay off? No, but I am about to earn another discipline. That's not going to get me anything. I'm about to get kind of one of a lot of things if I go for those large gardens. I'm about to get another piety if I do that. Although, am I going to earn renown in some way? Probably not. Oh, I am. I'm going to win in Renown. Yeah. So I'm going to go up one Renown, because I would like to have more citizens, I think. Yeah, you're right, James. I need to build the baths. I've got three disdain now, and I could be getting rid of it. I can only do two per year, so it would be good to get that out there. I should maybe have tried to do that last year, when I had an abundance of um, servants. But for this year, though, we could be thinking about the large gardens, which you want to do, really, before you fill up the tracks and kind of waste their potential. I want to do the medium precinct as well because that's more that's more resources that's more income in that way large gardens is one of so many things though i'm going to go for the gardens i'm two away though it's that's two citizens to do that i'm going to do it two citizens on priests gets me a piety which is nothing right now and another servant but then i can spend Servant and Builder, and two resources, which isn't much of a dent in my hoard. And then that gets me, let me cross all of this off, a Piety, which gets me a Servant. And a Trader, a Performer, which is what I need to be able to perform this round. Another, another Priest, which gets me another Piety. and an Apparitoris and a Patrician, which gets me a Renown, which gets me a Citizen. And then that's my gardens done. So now I'm in the right place to be able to build that precinct. I want to keep boosting the production. I could maybe get another diplomat because, yep, these attacks are going to be coming in. But I just need to bribe well, don't I? See, so it would be two of my citizens to build that precinct. But I've got to think about how am I getting along the fort here? It's all very well moving along the wall. I can only do two more spaces on the wall. Until I've met the fort again. I think Builder can move me along the fort there. If I want to do the granary, the large granary to get into this right section, that's going to be my last Builder and a Servant and two of these resources. It would get me a Renown, which isn't going to help me right now. But then I could spend three of the Servants to get the next production stage. I do want to do, before I forget, I'm at level six in the performers now. Let's spend a resource to do the latest performance, which is going to get me a Discipline. Gets me nothing right now. And the Aperitoris I need. Oh, so I am at level three. That gets me a Soldier, which I really want. I'm not going to have enough resources. But I kind of feel like I would like to get bribing in the baths. Hmm. See, I've got another soldier now, so I think I'm going to move... I'm going to do another soldier there, 
and let's get a citizen. I can do another... Yeah, I can do another thing on the wall there for another citizen. And then I am... I'm going to do the granary. I'm worried about attacks. I'm, I'm doing that granary, though. That gets me a renown, which gets me nothing right now. But now I'm allowed into this section. I'm going to use my three servants. One, two, three. There's another resource and another production. So I could go another step in the wall, but it's not going to get me anything right now. Maybe I'd want to do something else. So, citizen crazy. Let's see, I'm going to earn... I don't want to go all the way up in priests, because I can do that in a performance. I don't want to go all the way up in in uh, patricians, because I can get that from the theatre as well in year six. I've got all these citizens. Can I get myself a servant? Yes, I can, by boosting performers. Which I want to do anyway for next year. I need eight. So that gives me the servant. And then I'm at level six on the traders. Let's go for the medium precinct. Two yellows and a purple. And that gets me a discipline. Gets me nothing right now. But also a resource and a production. So I'm at seven production right now out of nine. And really, yeah, the on on track. Forgetting the last things. I could even... Now, this seems wasteful. Now, I was going to get another movement from the priest, wasn't I, next time on the theatre. If I wanted to, I could spend a soldier to get building level 6. And then, use citizens to get me a blue and a purple. I have two resources. I could get the large hotel, which is another citizen as income next time. And a citizen right now. It's just the only downside of doing that. A discipline as well. I think I've got a dis. I think I got a discipline. What what did I do? I think I crossed the discipline off. Was it from the precinct? Yeah, there, there I am on the tracks. I'm just, I'm, I'm always like, come on, production, production, production. Because building the hotel next time, it's only going to pay off once. Yeah, we're just going to have to maybe waste the priest gain. So there's, there's my servant. And I need a blue. That's going to come from traders. I'm going to move along the fort with a soldier and the fort again with a soldier because this is going to be another discipline, which this time is a builder and also a cohort. I feel like I would like to get the discipline bonus from the center there, but I feel like I would like to... I think I just sneakily marked it off. I don't think I cut to it. I'm pretty sure I marked it off, though. You can probably find out, right? From digging through the things. But I think I think I did it. Oh, yeah, you, you can't find out because you don't know what bonus you took from these things. I'm pretty sure I took that bonus when I built it. So I am building these and the two resources. The large hotel, which gets me a renown, which is nothing right now. Oh, you can just about see that. And a citizen. And I've still got a builder. So. Right, with the citizen, I can get myself a renown, which would get me another citizen. I can get a soldier. Let's see what. Oh, I haven't got a. I haven't got a. A thing. That wouldn't be a terrible... 
that wouldn't be a terrible icon to use. It would be an extra picked card to draw, though, which I'm kind of wary of. Do you know what? I'm going. We need to go all along the wall, don't we? I am going to. I don't think I can get a wall guard section from any of this. Like a, a new cohort or anything like that. Can I get a purple? No, I don't think I can. I can get a discipline that wouldn't get me anything. I can get a renown that would get me a citizen. Ooh, why don't we go for... Performance with that citizen. Gets me a renown. Gets me a citizen. Gets me a performer. Gets me a builder. And then I can use the two builders. We want to go all the way along here. Get me another citizen. And then... And then what? Hmm. I think, let's see, Citizen can get me Renown, which is not great right now. Discipline, which wouldn't get me a benefit right now. Soldier, which I could use maybe on the Wall Guard, try and get a cohort later. Or I could just move, use it to move along the fort. Or I could use it to do some scouting with. Well done, completed scout columns. And my shape's terrible for that. We're already drawing six cards. I think we've got to get these bats built and just try and get them used as much as possible in the last rounds. To wipe out the disdain that we're surely going to lose. We're surely going to earn. Yeah, let's go up the Aperitoris, which gets me a discipline. I don't feel like I'm very far along the tracks. But hey, there's still two years left. End of the year. Picked attack, and I'm worried. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's going to be right is defended, left is defended, center is defended, center is defended, but then center is not defended, right is not defended. So two went through, the gray number is three. So that means two disdain and one valor. I'm not normally, I, I, I don't think I did in the playthroughs, I'm, I'm not normally this kind of cavalier and uh, indifferent at fighting the Picts. But hopefully, yeah, we can earn those points back, because it's going to be, what am I on? Five disdain is minus nine points at the end of the game right now. Hopefully we'll earn points from other places. There's still time, there's still a lot of stuff to do. So that's what we're getting from the fake card. From my two cards, I can either have... Completed cohorts or total gladius strength. Two awful ones for me to come out together, especially. And I don't like either of the shapes. I think I would be happier with a servant and a resource, though. Maybe I'll complete one cohort, although that's even doubtful, saying that now. Uh, but production is where all of my efforts been. I get seven resources... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven resources, and whoops, and two citizens, and one, uh, that guy, builder, and a track of my choice. What am I going to earn? I think I'm going to earn a piety, maybe? I'm going to earn a renown from building this, and I do want to try and progress a longer track as much as possible. I think maybe the usefulness of my citizens is running out. I might need another servant. I'm going to go for piety. That's my income from there. So. Drink time. 
Now, with teal around my mouth, this is how we think of the ideas. So the bats need building, don't they? Bats need building, wall needs building. Um, performers need performing. Let's go four. I've got nine on the performers. One resource. There's year five. Let's skip the priest's one for now. Because I don't need the... I can't move up the priest's track anymore. But I get a renown, which is nothing just yet. But also a patrician, which is a soldier. Then... Oh yeah, what's the neutral card? That's, I don't want to draw more picked cards though. Let's see, I'm at building level 7. I could do that large workshop no problem. Get myself an extra builder right now and another one next turn. It's just that's four bricks and maybe I just want the four bricks on the wall. I definitely want two of them on the wall. Then that's another renown and another cohort. And to spread them out a bit, I think try and try and spread them out a little bit. I think I need two servants, a builder, and two bricks. Build the baths at last. And then I'm going to do two bricks for the cheap get rid of two disdain which isn't great is it still got three disdain but that has earned me four points from doing that and can earn me more next time it's just that that's cost me a lot of my bricks as well if i was planning on doing other things with them i'm gonna do large precinct three citizens and a servant to get me a renown which is a citizen and a resource and a production. I would love some more servants to get that last production going into the last round, but I don't think I'm going to get it. Uh, I still have soldiers. I could do my scouting. I'm not in a great position for scouting, though, to be honest. I could do one T and then I need two L's next time, but I don't think I've got them left. I've done the bats for this turn. I could do... I can't do Diplomat because I haven't got a Servant. I can get a Servant, of course, you know, swapping two things. Why don't we two more bricks get me another citizen? What do you reckon? A lot of disdain, yeah. It's worrying. I can get more renown. I can get another builder. I've got builders, though. Just waiting for something to do. Hmm. Yeah, I can get more cohorts from using the soldiers. Let's... I'm not going to use them as diplomats. Am I going to use one as a scout and draw an extra card? I'm going to use one as a scout. And not get any benefit right now. But that can be completed with two of the L shapes next time. I'm going to be drawing an extra picked card. I can... See, I've got two citizens that I can do stuff with. Let's see, two on the wall guard. 
get me a discipline and a cohort. I will go for the center, get me another discipline, which gets me another builder. I'm going to do... Can I use builders on anything else right now? Not without servants. I can trade them in and get a servant, of course. But I'm going to go two more along here. I've got building level eight, but I don't think that's getting built. Uh, and that's going to get me another citizen. Hi, Shiffy. <laughs> Hopefully everyone's just enraptured about uh, the... Am I might even going to get seven, 70 points here? I'm going to build the wall, I think. I don't know if I'm going to get 70 points. We've got to keep the faith, though, haven't we? So, citizens... I can use to get more stuff along here. I can get another Renown, but I don't know that that would help me out right now. I've got a resource, so let's put that in the wall and get me another cohort. I'm going to go for left, which is another discipline. Hey, Shiffy. I can't remember if I said hello. I think I got distracted. Or I said hello and then got distracted. There was distraction involved. So I can... I can spend a citizen here to get another builder. I've got two builders, which can get me another citizen. And then, oh no, this isn't going to get me a green, unfortunate, uh, uh, another builder. But I can get, oh, oh, it will. I can get another renown, no, another discipline. I can get another soldier. I don't know what I'm going to do with the soldier yet. And then I can get another discipline, which gets me a builder, which I can use over here. To get another discipline close to that 15 mark but another cohort as well i'm going to go for right am i yeah let's spread these out all right success a worthy successor of hadrian yeah yeah remains to be seen there's going to be a lot of attacks coming through we've got one more soldier which yeah can only really go i can do some scouting but not with my shapes so it's going to have to be on the wall guard. I don't think there's anywhere else I can just use a scout on their own. So yeah, wall guard could pay off later. And then at the end of the round, we need to draw eight cards plus one, because I used the neutral um, blueprint. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And let's see. We've got 3-3-2 three, three, protecting. One of each. One of each. Third center. <gasps> oh, it's so close. Maybe if I hadn't had that extra card, none would have gotten through. So the gray number is three. One got through. So that's going to be one disdain and two valor, which is the way I've been going especially. That's pretty good. The valor is going to give me a soldier to go into the next round with. And then we can begin the final year, the sixth year. Yeah, I've not been uh, as <laughs> speedy as I was hoping at the start of the game, was I? Yeah, it takes me an hour to play a game. Yeah, not when I'm blabbering on. Uh, let's see, yes. Builder, servants, citizen, bricks. Oh, and what was the special challenge? 20 points in at least three attribute tracks. I'm not getting the challenge, am I? 20 points in at least three tracks. So I've been so focused on even trying to vaguely get, actually get 70 points in the game. The idea of doing the challenge as well. Let's see. So my cards. Last two cards. Is there an L left in there? No. I could still complete three columns if I built this. Constructed landmarks. You have to have gone to 15 in the tracks. I could maybe do a couple of these. 
completed citizen tracks. I've already completed two. It's likely I'm going to complete more and this is a better shape. So let's take two resources and a better shape. And then, so there's, is this going to be an L? No, I'm not going to be able to complete all of the columns in there, but income is going to be eight resources together with the loads that I've already got. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two citizens and one builder. Where is he? One builder and a thing of my choice. If I want to get to 20, 20 on three tracks. Let's do discipline. Yeah, let's do discipline. So I want to get to 15 and then build the landmark. Right. How am I going to get to 15? That's going to be... Ooh, let's do... Bricks, bricks, bricks. How many do I need to spend? One, you get me a renown. Doesn't get me anything just yet. Second one gets me a citizen. So I've got three in my hand. There's three. Fourth one gets me another Renown, which still gets me nothing, but a Cohort, which I'm going to use to get a Discipline. And then getting a Discipline gets me a Builder, but gets me to level 15 on that track. I'm going to build the Discipline Landmark. You have to have gotten to 15 on it. So that is a Builder and two Resources. Gets me two Renown which is a citizen, nearly a piety. Then what? I need three resources to finish the wall. That's got to be done, really. I need four resources if I want to keep going in the baths. I'm at level seven. Tell you what, one scout is going to go through. Using my own plan, I'm going to fill in, let's see, is it four? One, two, three, four. With the shapes I had, I couldn't have filled in the entire thing, but I have just covered up two resources, and I've done three completed columns. Oh, ages ago. Subtitles. I would have earned a Valor because I did a complete row. That's the only row I completed, but uh, I get points for columns because I took that Ranger card. But that kind of gives me, that gives me enough stone now that I need, doesn't it? It doesn't move me up the tracks the way that I want. Oh, but I'm already at 15 on Renown now. So I can go Archway. Let's do Builder and two resources to build the Archway, which gives me two Valor, which gives me a Soldier. And then where are we on the tracks? 15, 16, but down here, 8 and 9. Getting to 20 on three of them, I don't think is happening for me. I think I've left it too late. Probably want to get the large road as quickly as possible, so you're getting two of those incomes every round. I don't know how quickly you could get that. Probably year five, maybe year four, if you were really focusing on it. I can get a piety just by spending a brick at the theatre. What am I on? Four disdain. If I knocked that down to two, that would be in four points. But it would cost me four of my resources. Let's see cheap ways of earning things I can spend a citizen to get another patrician which gives me another renown which gives me another piety which gives me another servant I can go on the wall there I have to go all along the wall I can't leave myself with not enough here that's going to get me a citizen and a cohort i'm going to go for where did it get me last time we left didn't it i'm going to go for the center and then because I've, I've built the wall now there's one of the requirements the other requirement is 70 points which it's looking a bit doubtful we can't lose faith just yet then Two soldiers up here. Get me another discipline and another cohort. 
and I'm going to get the Valor from the middle cohort. So that puts me up to 10 on Valor. See, a Diplomat could get me a couple of Valor. Oh, it could get me one Valor. It's not 15, though, is it? Valor, I would have needed to have protected the citizenry a lot better. Piety, I would have needed to have built the temples sooner, I think. I can get a piety for building it and a piety for filling it up, but no other piety. I want to complete citizen tracks though, don't I? If I complete all the citizen tracks, that's some points. Citizen there, get me a resource. Citizen there, get me a builder. Citizen there, get me a renown. And one more citizen there gets me another resource. So I've got some resources now. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I could get another couple of cohorts. And if I did protect, if I protected everything, I would get four valor, which isn't going to get me to 20. How would I have gotten to 20 on these tracks? There's definitely, there's obviously a way of doing it. Uh, not mess about so much, I imagine. Gamble more on the gladiators, perhaps? Or gamble at all on the gladiators? Courthouse would be a really good thing to do. I've left it far too late. But if you did the courthouse when you got to level 4 here and started progressing, if you got at least to level 6, you can do one thing from each column. Uh, every year so spend a purple to get a blue spend a blue to get two purples and just gain a purple great for earning them and doing all the mining and then you'd never really need to take purples from the cards or anything but hey let's no more what ifs what am i going to do now am i going to build something else I'm going to use the blue. I'm going to do that temple. I can get more discipline. Which would get me another valor. And then another valor. Would get me another soldier. Let's do that. Temple. I don't know who I'm going to send to the temple though. Building the temple gets me a piety. I don't know who I'm going to send there yet. I could build another one. And just send everyone there. I would have... I wouldn't have quite enough people. No, unfortunately, I would be... Oh, no, I would gain a person from the piety. <laughs> Ooh. That's still not 20, though, is it? On anything. But I could... I think I could get a load of points just offloading everyone into the temples at the very end here. Just make that all I do. So send, say... It is another point if I do this last production, though. It's three servants to do that for one more point. Whereas piety is a point each, isn't it? All the tracks are a point. I'm going to send off the servant to the small temple... Uh, so I get a piety, and I get to block a, a picked attack. Then I'm going to build the medium temple, two resources, purple and a blue, which gets me another piety, which gets me a purple back. I'm going to just send my last three people. To gain me piety each. One, two, three. The bottom one protects from att an attack again. And my third one here gets me another servant. Which I'm pretty sure can only be spent. Yeah, I've got servants. I've got a servant and two bricks. 
which I think can only be spent really. Servant has to go up there. Two bricks have to go along here for nothing. But I think we've got a lot done. Yeah, I only had one servant. If it was two, I could have swapped it for something. But we've I think we've got a decent shot of blocking these attacks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Didn't use haven't done any marketing or anything like that and used my own shape for this. So let's see. We are blocking three, four, three. Let's zoom in on it. So blocked, 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 blocked. So you get through, you're blocked. You get through, but thanks to the power of the temple, I negate your attack. I blocked all the attacks. The little grey number is uh, four, which means four valor. One, two, three, four. Soldiers you gain at the very end here, worth nothing. So... How has this worked out? We need to... Well, the tracks speak for themselves. I got 18 there, plus 15 for Piety, plus 14 for Valor, plus 16 there. So that's like nearly 60, right? Maybe just over 60? Yeah, it is. Uh, then, Path Cards. I really wish, I don't know why I didn't set this up as a button on my special thing. So then, Borager, resource production. I got eight resource production. Unfortunately, that doesn't get me the three points, but it gets me two. So two points there. Completed scout columns. I did three. So that's another two points. Final disdain, which hasn't been subtracted just yet. I've got four disdain, which gives me one point there so i'm up to five completed wall sections done them all that's a full three points so that puts me on eight completed cohorts i didn't complete a single one no points there uh, completed citizen tracks i've done them all so that's another three points so that would put me on 11. have i done it i don't know here then, disdain, one, two, three, four, is minus seven points. So what is that going to be? Uh, so 23, 33, 47, uh, 63, 74. Uh-oh. If my math, please point out if my math is wrong. But I think, unfortunately... <gasps> Oh, that couldn't have changed it. Do you know what I could have done? I'm going to do a mini take back. It doesn't win me the game still. But instead of throwing those two stones away at the sippy up here, I could, of course, have spent two at the baths to remove one of those disdain. And so I would have only lost five points, which would give me a perhaps even more painful 69 points. And yeah, there was there's absolutely somewhere you could have seen where I could have gotten an extra point and didn't. Uh, I'm sure of it. Just blocking off one more thing, taking off a taking a different um taking a different path card than the completed cohorts one that I didn't do anything for, or putting one more point into the center cohort so I'd completed it. But having said that though, that might have let more attacks through. So unfortunately, uh did the path give you more points with the oh, did it? No, I need. Um, I would need. Uh, I would need two disdain to get uh, extra points. Unfortunately, from the path. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, just using the bats a little bit more, or having more people from the courthouse. Thinking of the temple. So I think the temple was definitely the best thing to do at the end. I think that was absolutely that. It used a lot of people, but that got me one, two, three, four, five, six plus points uh, from doing that. And maybe even, you know, 
yeah, saving those two points from disdain was definitely worth it. But also, one brick could have been spent at the theatre earning. Um, it wouldn't have got me anything from the priests, but one stone for a piety is not a bad trade off at all. Yeah, I, I imagine so many ways that you could look back that I would have done this. But yeah, just just didn't manage it. Not that it's, yeah, I've, I've gone over <laughs> how long I thought. I thought maybe if I managed to do this under, in under an hour, maybe we'll get a few in. Uh, but yeah, I I agonise over things too much, don't I? And didn't uh, quite manage to get where I needed to be. But I will practice. I will have another go. And we'll go on to a future chapter. Yeah, the, the challenge. I know that the, the challenges are meant to be challenging. I wonder... Like the the restriction isn't very much, is it? Uh, it's just that instead of seeing two possibilities here, you're just seeing one. So it basically means the scouting and market, pro probably more the market than the scouting, gets harder to be able to do. I think scouting is still very useful. But at, at the same time, if I hadn't kind of ignored the scouting for a couple of rounds, which I did, and managed to complete just one more row, that would have been more valor. If I had done all of the columns, that would have been the missing point. You can do so many woulda, coulda, shouldas, though, couldn't you? Hey, it's the way that goes sometimes. Shem's in Paul Grogan's chat. He's missing out on the on me losing one of his uh, games. Or his published games, of course. Bobby Hill. I don't know why. I didn't want to finish his name until... Uh, it's like one of those things that oh, suddenly got it wrong. Yeah, his name's uh, Bobby Hill. Designed it. But still, great design. A good effort, I think. I'm going to crack it, though. And maybe next week uh, we'll be back for Chapter 2 of the solo campaign. And what, what is Chapter 2? We can get the, the browser up. So Chapter 2, Pons Alias. No extra rules, but you must build the large road and score 70 or more points. So the large road I didn't build, but I was I was talking about that as like, if you want to get your Valor or something up. I can't see you being able to do it before the fourth round. And I kind of think fifth round is when you would be able to do it. But build the large road and get 70 points. And the challenge there is have no disdain at the game's end. So you probably want to be getting into like the wall guard and stuff very soon. Or if not them, the small temple or the diplomats to just be ignoring some of these cards as soon as you can. But hey, I will... Uh, I will endeavour to honestly uh, score 70 points, which, to be honest, it shouldn't be too difficult, should it? If I scored 69 right now with, um, I'm sure, a mistake or two along the way, I am confident that I can get 70. I'm not confident that I can uh, get 20... Um, I can get 20 or more points on three attribute tracks. But hey, uh, maybe, maybe I'll manage it. <laughs> and then I'll have wished that I'd filmed myself doing it. But I, I, I don't think that's going to happen. I'll, I'll try and, uh, yeah, get more than 70. We will return to this. I don't know if we're going to keep up. If, if there's interest, yeah, I'm interested in playing it. If there's interest in watching it, I'll do all 16 forts if we actually manage to succeed in them. But hey, I think that's uh, that's how we are for now. Oh yeah, James, you managed, you managed to get 70, didn't you? But you don't know how to get the three tracks to, to 20. Yeah, yeah, I like I I like the kind of oh, if only I'd done this one thing, but then you realise that by doing that different thing, it might have made the whole rest of the game fall apart. It might have made uh, the picked attack more or something like that. Or like the reason I probably took a card that was useless to me was to get something, get a shape or get resources or something like that. So yeah, it's all uh, it all butterfly effects around, isn't it? But anyway, that is it for now. I'll be back at some point with some more uh, Hadrian's Wall, but I'll be back tomorrow for a live playthrough at 4 p.m. BST. We're going to be doing Excavation Earth from David Tortsey uh, and Gordon Kaleha and Yi, uh, a big uh, alien uh, trading kind of game that's uh, quite complex, but I'm going to be playing the solo mode by Nick Shaw. And Nick and David, they, they designed uh, Roman Roll together, as long as a load of uh, solo variants. I'll be there tomorrow. Hopefully, I can see if you, you can make it. If not, it's all available later on, isn't it? Like the video, 
subscribe to the channel, comment, follow me on Twitch, do all of these things. It would be fantastic. Thank you very much for all the people that do those things. And it's all supported, of course, as always, by patreon.com forward slash slicker drips. It's the only reason I'm able to make any of this. Uh, thank you very much to everyone who is a patron, including uh, many of you in the chat. And thank you all for watching me tonight. I am going to go now, though. I will see you tomorrow, I hope. If not, I'm always about, aren't I? Thank you very much for being here, though, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye, everyone.